Well, today's game is the Jays' last chance to move on to the American League Championship Series. Well, at least for this season anyway. But for our next guest, it is his last chance with the team forever because, win or lose, Blue Jays president Paul Beeston is set to retire at the end of this month. And he joins me live from the Rogers Center in Toronto. Paul, you still have time. You want to change your mind? Because how do you leave a team this hot? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, it's fun, Suanna. And, um, you know, I don't think I'm ever going to leave the team. I'd like to think that I'm a Blue Jay forever. My uh, loyalties are not transferable. Uh, so now uh, I'm going to have the fun of being able to cheer without the accountability. Oh, hey, and the accountability can sometimes weigh pretty heavy. But let's look at the fun of the game. What's going through your mind as we head into this game five? Well, I just want to be sure that we play the game well, that we play the game the way that we can play the game. We started spring training with a very solid team. Alex did some wonderful, wonderful additions uh, at the end of July. Uh, August and September were quite special. Uh, we lost a couple games here at the beginning of, uh, of October to Texas, went down in one two, and it's all back to one game right now. And so it's anticipation, it's the fun. It's seeing Marcus Stroman against the veteran out there and Cole Hamels. Uh, it's uh, 50,000 fans, and uh, it's a country that has turned on and ultimately we're all fans that are in this game and to be part of it and to watch it I think we have the same feelings you do let's get it on absolutely you know what I was speaking with Marcus Stroman's dad a couple of days ago on that first uh, game two that he he pitched uh, or game three rather um, I, I want he said you know his son is just so cool and calm so collected and then we hear John Gibbons say well he's a bit cocky what do you think is that a good thing yeah, I don't think that's a bad thing. That's his personality. You don't want him to change. Uh, you know, when everybody wrote him off for the year, uh, he was the person that said, you know, I will be back. I want to be with my boys. I'm going to be there in September. He came back and he said, just give me the ball. And uh, any type of uh, any type of a challenge that was put in front of him, he's actually able to, been able to answer it. So uh, you want someone who wants to be out there today, and he wants to be out there. You've got 17 days left as president. That's when you head into retirement. And as you say, you know, once a Jays fan, you will stay a Jays fan. But what do you... What do you leave with? I mean, you're leaving a team that, what have you brought to this team, I guess, is what I want to know. Well, I don't know what I brought to the team. All I know is that the team has been very good to me. The fans have been very good to me. I've quite enjoyed my stay here. And more important than that, I think we've left a pretty good foundation to go forward. So uh, at the end, you're always going to have to play that game. The best team doesn't always win, but the best team over the course of a season will. We had a great season. Uh, we're set for uh, for the future. Um, there are obviously always going to be cha uh, changes. But I think what you see right now is you see a, a city that's come together. Uh, you see a province that's come together. You see a country that's come together. Uh, we're all in this and uh, you know we always they always talk in Boston about Blue Jays Nation you know but we are Blue Jays or about mm -hmm. the Red Sox Nation we are Blue Jays Nation Yes, we are. And you've been with that Blue Jays Nation since 1976, the first employee hired by the Jays then. But you've seen the fans come and go. They've been hot and cold. You know, people always say fans are fickle. How important is it for the fans to be on side today, to bring that spirit down onto that field? Yeah, I, uh, so I, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Uh, we've watched it all through the month of September. We watched it the first two games. Uh, it's not lost in our players. Our players love playing in the stadium. They love playing for these fans. They know that it's just not the people that are in the stadium, but indeed it's across the country. Uh, so it's very, very important. Uh, but I don't worry about that because they're with us. Uh, our job always was to put the product on the field. Uh, you can't ask. I don't think fans are being fickle. I think all we need to do is give them a reason to come, uh, to give them a reason to cheer, and they be become the tenth person. Final question for you, Paul. What's going on as a Jays prep? I mean, what's the message they're hearing from, from those who are helping to propel them forward? Well, I think the only thing that there is is stay cool, do your thing, stay within yourself, go out and have fun. And if you go out and have fun and uh, led by the guy in the mound with the first pitch he's going to make, I think that's going to set the tone for everything. Well, I hope when you leave as president that you have fun. And I want to thank you for the time. Okay, Suzanne, thank you very much, and uh, don't worry about my fun. It'll be okay. <laughs> I bet it.